called Nine Player Pepper. And this again is a great conditioning drill. In particular, if you can see the look on her face, just get in here and look at that. Um, she's really excited about this drill because it's extremely difficult for setters. But it's very important for setters because as a setter, and she can attest to this, uh, the pass is not always perfect. So they have to be able to run down a ball and square their hips up to their hitter and still put up a hittable ball. Uh, and this, <coughs> excuse me, will challenge Jenna and our setters to do that, which is great. It also will condition her just to kind of setters run around all over the place. Get her in good condition to play a six match day, which happens a lot at our level. We have tournaments where we play six matches in one day and she'll be ready to do that because she does this drill. Uh, a couple other things, our, it's for our hitters as well. So Amanda and Kenzie are our hitters. You guys raise your hands real quick so they can see you. Okay, they are <coughs> working on their transition. Oftentimes hitters have a hard time getting out to their touch point. So their touch point is gonna be there where they're gonna approach from each time. So, and that's gonna change. These three people, Kenzie, Jenna, and Amanda are gonna go under the net when the ball crosses the net. And they're gonna essentially, hopefully, um, play the ball out over here. So they want, they're gonna have to first uh, play defense. So they're gonna come in, if I'm tossing the ball from over here, their first responsibility is I can toss them the ball. It's a coach entered drill. So I'm gonna down ball the ball in, the pl in play or I might toss it to one of my hitters so that they have to first worry about passing and then getting out to attack. The goal is that the these collective nine people have to get seven good pass set attacks. So here's, here's the catch. At the varsity level, I only count a pass, a set, and an attack. So let's say, Trip passes the ball low to Jenna and she can't set the ball. We do not want our players to practice bad habits. So I don't want Jenna to try to fall on her knees and act like a crazy person and set a ball that's not settable because that won't go in a game. She'll get called for a lift uh, and we don't want that. So practice good habits. It's very important in these drills, but it has to be a pass, a set, and an attack. If she has to platform the ball or if the set is terrible and Amanda has to set it over the net, it's just a neutral. It doesn't count against them. They don't have to go back to zero. It just, it just does nothing to the score. So to get one point if on this first ball, there has to be a pass, a set, an attack, and that will be one. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate that. They have to get seven to get out. If the ball hits the floor, they go back to zero. Okay, so this is ball one. Pass, set, hit, go, go, go. So that's a neutral. Cross, 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 cross. That was two. Pass, set, attack. Get there, get there. Now they go back to zero, okay? One of you guys enter a ball so I can just talk. Okay, so they went back to zero. They're gonna start back again. Uh, Megan, Megan, it's gotta be over here. Hitters over here. Here we go. So we got a pass, a set, an attack. Here you go, pass, set, attack. That's two. Go, go, go. This is going to be a neutral. Pass, set, attack. Yes, go, 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 go. The other thing is, is that anything goes. Okay, so I mean, we, this is a cooperative drill. We talk about it being a competitive drill as well. We don't want our hitters just to get out of the drill. We want them to be aggressive. We want them to be game-like. Again, depending on your level, if you're coaching middle school, that's not going to be possible. The kids are not going to have the ball control to do that. But at the high school level, uh, they should be able to hit aggressively. One thing I might adjust for like a sub varsity team, like a JV or even a, a freshman team, is that I might not be so um, strong on the pass set attack. If they get three contacts and, it, it, and they, it gets over the net, it counts as one. Or if they get a good dig off a nice attack, and even if the dig goes over, that still counts as one. So I'm really mostly concerned about the pass set attack for my varsity level type team. I want them to show this to you again because I want them to get it. I know they can. Okay, and like I said, anything goes. If it hits off the ref standard and Jenna has to bounce it off there, that's okay. Okay, we're not looking for necessarily following the rules. There's been many times we've done this drill in here and you know, there'll be five contacts over here. We just want to keep the ball in play. Again, the urgency of not letting the ball hit the floor and being aggressive.